high priest brings an offering A sacrificial feast and a atonement For all his people's sins Aaron set aflame what he had brought And then they bowed and sang when they saw the Holy fire rising up from the altar Lighting up the night there were blessings Aaron and from Moses who supposes all was well But soon a tragedy befell the sons of Aaron Avihu and Nadav they were bringing More offerings to God but their fire The fire was too strange Maybe God had become angry by the wine in each their veins They are consumed by a fire bursting forth from the altar they fall dead upon the floor And their father is silent While his sons are dragged away But Moses warns him not to mourn Fear that God will become angry And all of them will feel God's scorn And they God said to Aaron Tell your two surviving sons Not to drink and then approach the Holy One there's a difference between the sacred and profane And now you recognize these things are not the same As the ceremony continued, Aaron's remaining sons gave their offerings and further tragedies were avoided. With that unpleasantness behind them, God began to hand down the list of animals that were allowed or forbidden to eat. He began with land animals. Any land animal that has cleft hooves and chews its cud, you can eat it. Some examples of animals no good for Jewish mandibles. Camels, rabbits, hares, pigs. Water animals. Any water animal, as long as it's got fins and scales, you can eat it. Some examples of animals no good for Jewish mandibles. Crab, shrimp, squid, octopus. Bird animals, generally speaking, if it ain't a bird of prey, you can eat it. Some examples of animals, no good for Jewish mandibles. Eagles, vultures, kites, falcons, ravens, ostrich, seagulls, hawks, owls, pelicans, storks, herons, hoopoes, bats. Bug animals, now most bugs are forbidden. There's a couple that you can eat, I ain't sure which ones. Some kind of locusts, crickets, and grasshoppers. Do you really want to eat bugs? Other animals. Things that creep around on the ground. Don't eat it. Some examples of animals. No good for Jewish mandibles. Moles, mice, lizards, crocodiles, and chameleons. And then God said, You shall not make yourselves unclean. By eating any of these things For I am the Lord your God You shall sanctify yourselves and be holy For holy am I